Hi everyone, this is Sterling from MTHFR Support. You guys see I've been posting a lot of videos, a, a lot of posts about heroin addiction. It's really impacted my family, big time. Um, this is not scripted here, so give me a moment. We've been dealing with it for almost five years now. To watch your child dying, it's not a good thing. I just had to drop off his belongings to the next rehab he's going to. The rehabs are not working. They're not addressing it in nutrition. They're not looking at genetics. And I hope to change that. I will be headed to Washington, D.C. in the near future. I will be taking this to the airwaves. This mama is not going to quit. And my son doesn't realize the big pivotal role he's playing in this. Because we are going to change the way the world treats drug addicts. They do not need to be in prison. They need to be in rehabs that will listen. They need to know that bad food makes for a bad brain. A bad gut makes for a bad brain. Your gut microbiome, your bugs in your GI tract, or your oil in your engine, and your DNA is your engine. We must get nutrition into these drug rehabs. It is insane. Pills do not work. Other drugs should not replace other drugs. We have got to fix this now. I could get a, on here about glyphosate, and I could talk about glyphosate all day. Glyphosate not only shunts into calcium oxalate crystal, but glutamate crystal. What do you think happens when a heroin addict wants their heroin? They're, they've got glutamate raging through their body at times. Heroin can tempor temporarily make GABA, but then it can also cause a buildup of glutamate in the pancreas and then you end up in this um, vicious cycle my baby is dying and I can't take this anymore and we have got to make changes America wake up our food is poison the drugs are not working the way you're doing things it's not working drug rehabs they come in and they come out they come in and they come out you must heal mind, body, and spirit together. You can't heal one without the other. Drug rehabs, they are trying to address the spiritual part at times, but they are not addressing the diet. Particular place that I am sending my son to, he will be eating crap. He will be eating GMOs. He will be eating glyphosate that shunts into more glutamate and his brain's already on fire. It's got to stop. It's got to stop now. The buck stops here, guys. If I, I swear I will take this to Washington, D.C. I will take it to the top. I will do march, marches. I will do protests. We will get this changed, and we will get it changed real soon. I will take it all over the airwaves. I have connections now, and I'll get it done. I am sick of seeing America's children dying. And I'm not going to deal with it anymore. You can't trade a drug for another drug. We have got to fix their guts and their brains. Every one of them have diseased microbiomes and diseased brains. And we have to look at genetics and the way we go in. Because the way you go in with one person with nutrition, it's going to be totally other way you go in with the next person. Genetics plays a huge role on the way somebody's engine's running. We have got to fix this. So now my baby is in another drug rehab, and it's only a month. Month's not, not good enough. He needs a year or two somewhere, and he needs nutrition. And he needs nutrition looking at his genetics. I was just on the phone with him, and he said, you know, he said, you do know the DNA, Mom, and you look at me, mine. And I said, I look at yours. and." He's allowed me to share his DNA with you. 
and he's one of the homozygous comp V158 MH62Hs with the VDR VSM wild pipe. So his opiate receptors work 20 times slow. Those are the hardest people to get off of heroin. 1% of the population. That's the 1%. It's the 1% that usually dies. My son, we have almost lost him four times in, in the last year. I've gotten phone calls from the parents who have lost their children. And my heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to you. We've got to get this. We've got to stop this. And we've got to stop the madness. In and out of short-term rehabs. Not addressing nutrition. Not addressing how DNA is set up in their body to address the nutrition properly. Fixing the gut microbiome. It's all got to be put in. This is archaic medicine right now. It's archaic treatment. It is not working. You hear me, America? It is not working. And my son is not going to be a victim of all this archaic bullshit that's in the damn rehabs now. They do not work. My son is living proof. They do not work. We have to address nutrition. We've got all this DNA at our hands, at our disposal right now. We can look, and I know exactly how my son is running. I know his GAD doesn't work well. He cannot break down glutamate into GABA. I know he can't make, break down methylcinamines well. So what did he do? When his brain went crazy and he got leaky gut and his brain got diseased and all it was firing on, he was going for heroin to slow it all down. And he's still trying to slow it down. And you guys aren't addressing it right. And I can't get in the damn drug rehab that my son gets put in to be able to fix him. And I know how to fix him. But I need your help at the drug rehabs to get in to fix my son and everybody else. Their parents need to be in there too. Medicine has changed. We have advanced. But y'all are still in the inadvancement. Okay? You are like dinosaurs, rehabs. Hear me loud. You are dinosaurs. You're doing it wrong. You're going to be feeding my kid ramen soup noodles, MSG, freaking crap, GMOs, everything that makes glutamate surge to make him want heroin more. And you think you can just slow it down with a little faith? No, you can't. You must heal mind, body, and spirit together. You, must, you cannot heal one without the other. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen, okay? I am done with it. I have had it, and I will be in Washington, D.C., and I will take up all the airwaves, and I will show what we have at our disposal and how much easier it can be. I get drug addicts all the time, recovering drug addicts that still want the drugs, and then they come to me, and they're like, what's on my DNA? How can I fix this? How can I slow this down? And... I write out what I see on the DNA because yes, I'm allowed to do that. I can't implement it, but I can give it, hand it over to their doctors. And if they get the open-minded doctors, yes, then the open-minded doctors say, okay, we see how their DNA is running. Let's slow down the neurotransmitters in their brain until we get their gut healed. Okay. And we need to do this. This is disgusting. I will not see my son die because of ignorant bullshit and I'm calling bullshit like it is it is bullshit and I'm tired of it my son will not die because drug rehabs and psychiatry will not get up off their asses and learn new medicine new information that's out there you think it's getting worse too 5g the smart meters they can't rest at night brain doesn't go into alpha or theta anymore so the brain's on fire 24 7 okay keep on putting the smart meters on the houses too you think it's bad five years from now it's gonna be a hundred times worse i'm done i'm out of here guys over and out love you guys take care